as you try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you're here. So this is part two of us preparing to leave for our 12-week adventure on the road, traveling the U.S. with our kids. And this is after the Sam's shop, but before the Costco. So this is us just trying to get everything organized and put away. And I thought you guys might get a kick out of watching how we cram all of this food into this small camper, but we actually did really well. Um, and I just thought I'd show you guys and bring you along with some of the organization of it. Forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on. So here my daughter is actually helping me during um, some of our grocery haul. We had to pick up a lot of new clothes for the kids. They just each needed several items. Some of them needed pants, some of them needed shorts, uh, tank tops, socks, all the things. So here we're just going through, go ahead and taking the tags off, refolding them. We're going to wash them um, on the road because we didn't have enough time. Um, but yeah, we're just getting everything ready to pack this place up. I'm loving this moment. We stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together If I could stop the time Don't you know Now I am just going to fill this very large fruit bowl with all the bananas that we bought and the extra apples that didn't fit in our other container. So by the time you guys see our videos, it's usually about a week behind. And so it's been about a week now and I will let you know that we in six days time consumed 15 pounds of bananas, 9 pounds of apples, and 10 pounds of mandarin oranges. <laughs> So when I say I have to go back for those fill-in hauls, I really mean it. These kids can put down the fruit, but I would much rather them eat fruit than a lot of the other junky options. Okay, don't mind me because I know this is all <laughs> going downhill quickly. It has been a long few days. I'm not resting very well because of my sinus headache and I am just trying to get stuff done. But I wanted to show you guys kind of the state of um, the camper now so we were able to get all the food put away which is awesome I just got to put this stuff away um, I picked up a new trash bin because ours did not have a lid but I kind of wanted to show you guys there's still um, tomorrow I will be going to Costco but I wanted to kind of show you guys how we do this so um, those other bins the other three that will go up there um, will be full of our cereal and we're still using that stuff inside right now or it's empty actually it just it needs to be filled up before I bring them out. So we use these bins and they're super nice. They're plastic. They actually fit down in the thing. Um, and again, we've never had any issue. We traveled like this the whole time. So that holds like our bulk foods, which is super nice. 
Um, you guys, if you saw the tour, you know that we keep our apples and oranges in these. And then in these cupboards, they're not very deep. Hopefully I can reach up there, I'm short. So in this top one, I just have stuff that I don't use very often because it's hard for me to reach. And here is like our syrups, um, extra, like or our spices and things like that, that most of our spices will go in here. Um, but this is like the bottle stuff and things that don't fit. And then a lot of this looks empty because again, I have to go to Costco and probably Walmart and Aldi, but I just wanted to show you what, if, how we got everything put away so far. This is like a baking rack and I think my daughter just brought me, yeah, so we have our, these are like, um, what is it? Baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, cocoa, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna, oh, and we have an empty one. So we'll just put these in here. And again, I'm not worried about the glass because we've never had an issue with it. Um, so this will be like our baking supplies right there. Um, because we'll still be doing our all our normal stuff. This is like a salad sh a shelf where we just keep like all the um, things that we put in our salads and our uh, dressings. Um, this will probably just be like box goods. I had these four boxes of the Velveeta shells. And then down here is like our bulk applesauce, our ketchup. You all know the things we go through all the time. Mayonnaise, Parmesan, things like that. And then the fridge, well, the freezer. I was really surprised at how much stuff I had already. So this whole bottom shelf is all um, these chicken breast packs that I was getting from um, Costco. I still had a lot of them. Like you guys can see, they're all the way back, all the way across. So I don't need to buy chicken. I'm so glad I did this before I went to the store or I would have had a lot of stuff that I wouldn't have room for. And I don't want to leave all this food in the house. So um, I just want to be able to take everything. And then when we get back, we can do like a big shop, like restock. But we have this stuff and it just makes sense to take it. So that is all chicken breast back there. This is like whole chickens and then drumsticks back here. Our ice bin goes here. For, um, so we make our own ice in the ice maker and then that'll be in here and then this is all like beef and pork so i don't have a ton of um hamburger i only have well these are 1.3 pounds and i have seven of these but it'll be enough and then these are all like hamburger uh patties because you know you just do like a lot of that stuff when you're i mean we're not camping we're technically living like this but um and then our little pancakes and our um, orange chicken all fit in the doors so that was nice so that one is totally full and then the fridge is kind of bare right now because I have to go to Costco tomorrow but we have like our quick like uh, fast food type meals on top our eggs um, I don't know what this one will be for but I really like to have these in because it's so much simpler to just pull it in out and have everything you need um, these are our cheese sticks our baby bells the little beef sticks that the kids will have we'll use this stuff probably I mean, we'll use it for lunches but we'll also use it for when we go on our hikes and stuff and then i have all these bins that'll be full i still have to buy all our fruits and vegetables um our little uh bacon packets fit right here neatly on this little skinny shelf and then this will be full of our pizza cheese this will be um miscellaneous cheeses and this is like our, like our little snack sticks and our lunch meats and stuff like that and then obviously um condiments and creamers and orange juice and all that stuff will be in the door so i still have a good amount of space in here so i'm thankful for that over here yes there's a peanut butter and jelly on both sides because my children like to open things without seeing if we actually have one open so if you can believe it there was three peanut butters open and three grape jelly so we pulled them all in the kitchen had a nice little chat about that and um condensed what i could and then hopefully we'll just go through it these are those cinnamon rolls that i bought and then something that I don't think I've shown you guys is when I ripped out this wall over here um, to take out the RV stove that came with it, um, I was wondering because there was a panel down here and, and when I ripped out the wall, I like just ripped it open so I could see is there actually anything underneath here and there wasn't you guys. This was completely just wasted space now you might not be thinking that that's that big of a deal but wait till i pull out these baskets and you see how much space this is yeah those baskets are huge they're well over two feet and over a foot wide so 
and I'm able to put two of them under here. There's no heat, so or when this when we first did this, we like put stuff down there to test it, and we put a thermometer to make sure that um, it wouldn't be receiving any heat from the fridge, and it doesn't, thankfully. So all of that is usable space, and I don't know why they do this in RVs, because obviously like people need as much space as possible in these things, but this was huge. So we wound up um, getting these baskets and putting these, actually I already had the baskets from something else, and we store all of our bread items down here because before there was just no place for it. Um, you can see these big packs of rice cakes and you could easily put two of them in here lengthwise. So it's just, I could not believe it. And I was so excited because I've heard of this happening to other people, them finding wasted space. But when I remodeled this camper, I didn't find that anywhere. And I was so bummed because I kept like looking everywhere like, oh, maybe I'll find some. And then when I found this, I was so excited because like literally we were putting our um, bread in the oven. And obviously that doesn't work because then when you need to cook, you have to pull everything out. And then where are you going to put it? Like there's not that much space in here. So anyway, super exciting to find this space. And that is huge for us. And then the bread doesn't get mashed or anything like that. You don't have to worry about it. So all right. And then I will show you over here. My daughter did all of this for me. Got all of our canned goods in here on these little shelves that we put in. So that is awesome lots of stuff. I mean, these cabinets, are, it's just, it always surprises me how much you can fit. And then up here in our shelf, so up in this one, um, if you can see, is our s'mores supplies. That is our paper plates. I just keep them up top because we don't use those on a daily basis, but I do want them. Um, onions and potatoes, and then in the middle will be our like to go kind of containers and then our jars that has our bread flour, brown sugar, cane sugar, and all purpose flour. So this is what we use the most. Um, now because they're glass and we did not have these before, I will pull these down. They will go in a bin and, um, while we travel. So I will not keep those up there while we travel, but everything else will. Sometimes if those are full, like they are now, I will just pull them down and set them on the couch or something. Just so that we don't have any issues, um, but we never have. But the glass, you know, obviously I would not, that would be a disaster if that broke and went all over the place and I would have to burn the camper. So <laughs> I can't do that. So anyway, okay. And then lastly, oh, we do have down here too, but this is empty right now. So tomorrow when I go to Costco, this will be full of like all of our chips and miscellaneous stuff like that will be down here. And then I just wanted to show you in here real quick um so the diapers that i had out i put those down here but they will go in a bin as well i like to keep everything in a bin because then if anything does slide out it's just the bin and it's much easier to just push the bin back in than pick up all the stuff obviously so under the bed here um my husband has some things that he's going to go here but this toilet paper we already had these are the paper plates i bought so put all of that under there and then this is these are our big buckets that we have it's our sugar and our all-purpose flour um so this is our stuff from like azure and i want to bring it with us because we will use it and go through it and then the rest is like the stuff that i got at sam's like the snacky foods and then just some pastas that i had left over in our pantry and i will put this stuff in here one i don't want the kids to like be aware that we have these food items or because that will just be what they are always asking for. Um, whereas if it's out of sight, out of mind, they'll ask for the fruit and cheese and all of that. So we'll just pull this stuff out when we go on hikes or we go to the beach or whatever we're going to do that we need to have these kind of prepackaged items. Otherwise they'll just stay under the bed out of the way and we have our buckets. So it is amazing. Let me turn you around here. It is amazing how much you can fit, you know, in these places. And again, for those of you who um, are familiar with RVs and all of that, and you're wondering about weight, we always weigh. We have never been overweight unless, not true. The very first time we left, <clears throat> we went to a weight station. We were overweight by a couple, actually, I don't think it was that much, maybe 2,000 pounds. Once we got set up, we were able to go through things, figure out what that was, and, um, and, and adjust. And since that point, we have never been overweight. So um, a lot of the RV furniture is really heavy. 
people don't realize that and when you replace that and put in other items they're often much lighter um, plus we ripped out a lot of like cabinetry and a lot of things that just weighed a ton so I think even though we put in what maybe is looks like heavier bulkier stuff or better quality items it really wasn't any heavier um, so we are super conscious about uh, our weight and we want to be good stewards of this RV and take care of it um, so we're not all like just loosey-goosey ah just pack it in like I know some people ask us about that but no we're not like that we're very very cautious about that um, because we want to take care of it we own this and we hope to own it for a very long time so anyway yeah um, okay, so I will come back again after I go to Costco and I will show you guys how I put the rest of that stuff in. super important to use all the space that you have so these cubbies are what we use for our kids this is going to be for their like craft supplies so their play-doh their stamps all that kind of stuff and this is like outdoor fun their um, sidewalk chalk and their bubbles and then i'll show you that these are actually going to go up 
there up on top of the thing it also has a lip so they'll set in and this is how we had it the whole time we traveled so I know that it will stay safe up there but again that would be like wasted space and because this isn't stuff that they use every single day it's not a big deal for me to just get that um, down from there when they want it and they can sit outside on the picnic table and use it so just wanted to show you guys that little tip This is how under the bed turned out. I'm about to close it up now. Just have my husband's stuff coming out, so it's gonna go right there. Otherwise, it is packed full of goodies. Um, I almost forgot to show you guys. Uh, this is our fridge and freezer outside. So this fridge does work, but for whatever reason, it doesn't get super cold. So like, we don't feel comfortable keeping um, like dairy in it or anything like that. And we're actually going to look at seeing if maybe we can replace it. Um, I'm gonna go inside and look and see if we can find something before we head out because it it is really nice to have um, what we were doing before is we would keep like the kids snacks out here drinks things like that um, so it was just easy access and then this is our little freezer and this is where the rest of that food um, went so the nuggets the meatballs all of that this is like our smoothie station the kids yogurts um, and then the collie rice coffee all of that so all of the freezers are full so it would be nice to have this fridge working and then up here in this outdoor space I don't think I ever showed you guys that up here we keep like our grill tools um, and then up here my husband keeps like extra cords and what else do you keep up here honey uh, propane hoses and electrical adapters. propane hoses electrical adapters this is where we keep like our citronella candles and our like um, tablecloth clamps things like that and then this is our grill what kind is it honey it's a Weber a Weber a Weber portable and this is awesome you guys it it folds flat like this it has a hand handle on top it pops itself up like when you release the latch and then it has these heavy duty wheels so you can actually like wheel this out to the beach and like a barbecue out there and it's just so convenient um, and the fact that it fits up I'd have to show you guys a before picture I'll try to insert one if I have one of how this looked before but again basically it was just a lot of wasted space um, and there was a fridge out here but it wasn't there and then this right here is a it's a two burner so right honey yep. okay so a two burner stove the lighting's kind of bad out here but hopefully you can see that I'll insert a picture of what it was before but it was a lot of wasted space and it wasn't functional space um, they had like cabinets up high that like only my husband can reach because he's six six and nobody else can especially me so this is just way more functional for our family and again gives us a lot more food storage <laughs> 